Hello and welcome back to Chow. Today we are going to talk about sugar syrup. This is a remake of a previous video tutorial that I have already shown on this channel. I am going to show you once again how to make sugar syrup and we are going to make it two ways. One is clear sugar syrup and the other is golden sugar syrup. What is the difference between the two? Stay tuned until the end of this video clip and I will tell you what the difference is. What is sugar syrup? Sugar syrup is used for coffee and tea drinks. The reason why we make sugar syrup is to make it liquid, especially when we are making cold drinks. Granulated sugar does not dissolve easily in cold drinks. When you make your own sugar syrup, you can potentially reduce your cost by at least 30%. For my sugar syrup recipe, I do not use this simple sugar syrup recipe, which is one is to one. I use a concentrated sugar syrup, which is two parts sugar to one part water. The proportion that I'm going to use in this video clip will be just one cup of sugar to half a cup of water. The reason why I use 2 is to 1 ratio is this way I would avoid diluting my drinks with more water by using less sugar syrup. The resulting sugar syrup might be about 10% less because of the evaporation process. So the longer you boil it, the more that you will lose. So what I suggest is that you just boil your water, you put your sugar in, dissolve your sugar, and just bring it to a boil one more time, and that's it. You can make a large batch because sugar syrup, especially if you use white sugar syrup, can last up to six months without refrigeration. If you use brown sugar syrup, the shelf life will be shorter because brown sugar is more natural. So at least about one to three months, still a long time. So make the switch to using sugar syrup for your milk tea shops as soon as you watch this video tutorial. Start saving money and also making healthier sweeteners in your drink. Let's start by making our clear sugar syrup. Into a saucepan, put the water in. Turn on the heat and bring the water to a boil. If you're making a large batch, put the lid on so the water will boil faster. When the water starts to boil, put your sugar in. Stir to completely dissolve the sugar and bring the water to a boil one more time. Bringing the water to boil at this point will make sure that your sugar syrup will have a longer shelf life. After the water boils, turn off the heat, put the lid on and let it cool down. Now let's make our concentrated golden sugar syrup. Now this process is a little bit more complicated because we have to start by caramelizing the sugar. For this process, we need our sugar, the water, but this time we are going to put some of the sugar first into the saucepan. Give it a shake to spread the sugar evenly onto the saucepan. Turn on the heat to medium and wait for the sugar to caramelize meaning to turn into golden brown. Do not stir at this time. As you see the sugar starting to caramelize, add your water. Once again, do not stir at this time because you don't want your sugar crystallizing when it's done. Just let it boil and the sugar will dissolve eventually. At this point, add the rest of your sugar in. And this time, stir to dissolve the sugar. If you find some of the caramelized sugar are still lumpy, don't worry, just keep stirring and let it boil another time and the sugar will eventually dissolve. Once again, we are waiting for all the sugar to be dissolved and then we are going to bring it to a boil one more time to prolong the life of our sugar syrup. So you'll see some of the lumps there, don't worry, they will dissolve eventually. Once the sugar syrup has boiled one more time, turn off the heat, 
put the lid on and let it cool down. Now, as you can see here, there are no lumps in our golden sugar syrup. Another quick tip here, when your sugar syrup have completely cooled down, there will be steam on the lid. As you take off the lid, do not let the steam mix with your sugar syrup or it could potentially make your sugar syrup spoil faster. Now I have some clear bottles here of 350 ml and I'm going to pour my sugar syrup into these bottles for storage. So there you go, two beautifully looking sugar syrup that you can make yourselves. For those that are still using fructose for their milk tea, I would suggest that you make the switch to this healthier version of sweetener. Now there you have the two different types of sugar syrup. Now what is the difference between the two? Golden sugar syrup takes an extra step, but is it worth that extra step? The resulting golden sugar syrup smells a little bit better because of the caramelization process and also it could enhance the color of your drink because of the darker color. But if you would like to use or if you'd like to save time in making your sugar syrup, then you can also use the clear sugar syrup. The purpose is the same, to sweeten your drink and both of this will achieve the same purpose. So that's all I want to share with you today. I hope that this video tutorial is useful in making your sugar syrup at home. If you have any questions at all, do let me know, comments below, and don't forget to click subscribe, like, and share the love. In the meantime, stay safe as always. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.